What up, G-Life? It's your boy, MC Shadow, back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like and comment and are subscribed to the channel, right? It does help my channel get into the algorithm. I highly appreciate it. Go ahead and do that. Now, I got to ask a question, right? Was, um, you know, how many types of Chicano rap is there out there, right? The different types of Chicano rap, right? Um, like, you have the Chicano rap from Southern California by Southerners, right? So what is it called anywhere else, right, that has... Uh, Chicanos, right, but that are not from, obviously not from California, you know, that are not Southerners or Northerners. What is that called? See, the thing is that there's no such thing as Southern Chicano rap or Northern Chicano rap or anything like that, right? It's all labeled Chicano rap, right? Um, now, if the music is done by, he's Chicano, right, but he's a Southerner or Sureño or Norteño, whatever, right? The gang elements are not attached to the rap music, right? Um, so therefore, it's just known as Chicano rap, right? Yes, he's a Southerner and he's rapping, but it's not considered obviously Sureño rap. It's just Chicano rap because they don't attach the gang elements to it, right? Because that's not in their place because this is not the streets, right? They could throw their neighborhoods in there and throw their sense and whatever. But overall, identifying their music as that is, is not a real thing because they don't choose to brand themselves as that, right? If not, that's the case, they would just say that they're Sureño rap, but they say they're Chicano rap, right? Another misconception is that they attach Chicano to Southerners, right? That if you're a Chicano, then that means that you're identifying as a Southerner, a Sureño, which is not true. Um, you know what I mean? Chicanos and Southerners are two different things, right? What makes you a Southerner is completely different than what makes you a Chicano, right? There's certain things that make you a Southerner, a Sureño. I'm not gonna go into the details of all of that, you know what I mean? Um, that's not for the internet and stuff like that, right? But individuals out there know what I'm talking about. They know, well, if you know, you know, right? They know what makes them Southerners, Sureños, right? And obviously if you don't have that, right? Then you're just a Chicano, right? Um, because the misconception is that all Chicanos are gang related, but that's not true either, <laughs> you know? Um, do, do gangs adopt, you know, Chicano culture in their in their groups, yes. Now, I wouldn't say all of them, but you know, majority of them do, right? But it's two different things, right? Um, and that is a misconception, right? Um, I have explained the whole dress code stuff and all that in a separate video and all of that, right? Uh, some homies do, you know, adopt some of these ideas and ideologies, but not all, right? So to say that that that's the style or that belongs to them is ridiculous, right? And a lot of people do think this, right? Because, for example, in Texas, you have them that they're Tejanos. But in reality, they're Chicanos, right? A Tejano's a Chicano, right? Their, their family comes from, you know, Mexico or, you know, Latin American countries, right? But they were born here, right? Identifying themselves as, they can't identify themselves as Americans. They can't identify themselves from the motherland. So therefore, they're Tejanos. Now, people could be like, well, that's what makes you a Chicano. Yes, but see, they believe that Chicano is attached to California, that it's a California thing when that's not true, right? But since people have this idea, they decided to create their own terms like Tejano, right? They're proud to be from Texas and and stuff like that, right? Because if you say that, oh, so you're a Chicano. No, nah, homie, I ain't from California, but Chicano's not a Californian thing, right? But most people have this idea already, right? Um, that's why I say that it's not a California thing, right? But a lot of people do identify that as a California thing when it's not, right? It's Chicanos, especially in the brown movement of the brown berets and all of that. See, it's the fact that a lot of people lack their history. A lot of people don't know their history, don't know much about their cultura, and that's a problem, they're proud to be, you know, representing their culture, but know nothing about their cultures, right? And this is where ideas like all of this shit pops up, right? Or the fact that when people say, well, they can't be Chicanos because um, they're not raza, because raza is only Mexicans. Do you know where Salvadorians and Guatemalans and all that come from? Do you know where, where they originated from? Strange that people say that they're not our people when... Do you know your history of your people? Do you know where these people come from? But they're not your people? Strange. <laughs> ah, and it's the lack of knowledge that these individuals have that they make comments like this, right? Saying that they're not our people. All of those people are our people. They're all raza. 
Salvador, Guatemala, Honduran. They're all our people, bro. Learn your history, por favor, please. <laughs> it's sad, bro. How they claim to be brown pride and all this and that. and know nothing about their cultura, so strange. Because obviously we all come from one place, right? Um, you don't got to take my word for it. Go educate yourself. The books are there. History is there, bro. History is history, bro. I'm not here to make up, fabricate stuff. I always come on here knowing that you guys could always check what I'm talking about, bro. Go educate yourself. Go learn about your, your people. And then come back and we can discuss it on the comments. You know what I mean? Um, so there are people. So they are part of the Raza. So yes, it, it, they identify as that too. But not just them, right? Because if you come from the neighborhoods and you're from the streets, then you're aware that there's blacks and whites that identify as Chicanos, right? And people can't say that this is not true because there's homies in there who say that they're Chicano and nobody's telling them that they're not, bro. Nobody is telling them homies that they're not Chicanos, bro. I can I can assure you that, bro. I can assure you nobody is telling these homies who are black and white or Asian that identify as Chicano. No one is telling them that they're not Chicano, bro. I can assure you that, bro. No one is checking these fools. So when people come out here and they, he's not Chicano, he's not Rasa, like, you know. And homies that have been busted could tell you what I'm telling you, bro. They, no one is telling them about those that they're not Chicano, bro. You know, so there is homies that identify it because they are a part of the lifestyle, right? They can identify and and relate to our struggles, um, right? But that's when it comes to barrio, barrio talk and all that, right? Um, it's overall lifestyle, right? It's not, it's not a DNA thing, um, right? Because even in this movement, when the brown parades and all that started, first started, right? When this word started being used and thrown out there, believe it or not, out there in those rallies and protests, it wasn't just Mexicans. It was Salvadorians, Hondurans, Guatemalans, and all of that in the mix, marching alongside the Mexicans, right? So to ignorantly say that it's just a Mexican thing because that is how it was used in the beginning. But like I said, in the fight, it wasn't just only Mexicans, right? I am aware of the history of the bomb parades and the history of the word and all that, right? But if you dive in and look into all the whole entire history, right? And the people that were out there protesting and marching alongside, you would understand and realize that it wasn't just a Mexican movement, a Mexican push. It was a minority thing. Right? Because it wasn't just only Mexicans out there marching and protesting. Oh, yeah, you know what? Um, it, it, it's cool. We'll take their help, but, but we won't let them be, uh, take any of the, uh, of the, of the, um, how can I say anything, any, um, any rewards that came with the victory, right? Yeah, it's cool that you fought alongside of us, but you don't get a claim victory. You don't get to claim none of the rewards and benefits off of it, off of the movement. But we appreciate your help. How ignorant is that? How ignorant is that, bro? <laughs> and it's people's egos, bro, that inflate, you know? Because simply they just want to be, you know, they want it for the ego, bro. That's the only reason why uh, anybody will come on here and, and simply want it to be just a Mexican thing, bro. Tell me I'm lying, bro, if that's not an ego move. You know, because God forbid another uh, another uh, another ethnicity played a factor in that, right? God forbid that. No, 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 we can't have that. Huh. <laughs> People are ridiculous. Um, so it's all Chicano. There's no such thing as another type of Chicano. Right, Arizona Chicano rap is just Chicano rap. You know, Texas Chicano rap is just Chicano rap. No matter what part of California, it's just Chicano rap. There's no other. There's no other. There's no such thing, bro. That's something that people out there invent and create to satisfy their ego. That's the only reason why um, you would hear another term for it. But in all true reality, it's just Chicanos and it's just Chicano rap, and that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. You know. And no, you don't have to be gang related to to be Chicano or to do Chicano rap. You know, if he's just Chicano, has no gang ties, he's doing rap, he's just Chicano rap, just like everybody else, bro. Because the gang ties are not associated with music. They are associated with the streets. I'm just saying, overall, that's the breakdown. What do you guys think? Leave in the comments for Shadow. We out.